gonna take a little bit off this here to so make this next one straight. Okay, so brisket slice and hang test number one. A little thick on that slice there, but this is on the point side of the flat. So these these slices are going to be a little less firm because there's more fat. Whew, boy, that's, a, that's a good looking slice there. Nice smoke ring. When you're slicing brisket, you want a, about number two pencil thickness. So this one's a little thicker. Yeah. Again, this is from the point end, so this is not worth for if this was a competition, this is I would not turn slices in from this. I'd turn slices in more from down here. And we'll get to that side in just a second. This is not a competition brisket. This is an eaten brisket. That is a good slice. It's a little maybe over tender, which for eating at home, nobody cares about. For a competition, you want it to pass the hang test where it's completely limp, hanging down. But you want it to have, um, you don't want it falling apart either. Since I'm losing some stuff down here, I'm just going to, I'm going to trim this off a little bit and we'll just, this will be our chopped pile. That's really good stuff to make sandwiches out of. Now we're getting into the really good part of the flat. Where we get our best slices. I got an electric knife for Christmas for my birthday last year. And, you know, it does a good job with poultry. And it will, it will slice brisket just fine. I just, I like the more, the cleaner cut of using the brisket knife instead. A little old fashioned in that regard. Cooked a lot of briskets in my, in the last five years. Well, actually the last four years. I didn't start cooking briskets until 2016. Well, I cooked them before that for a sprint competition, but never for home use until we moved, actually until we moved here, until I started the barbecue team. No competitions going on right now. So this apron I'm wearing, Lori Hillbilly Barbecue, this was the uh, event last August on Lake of the Ozarks. It's actually the best finish I've had at a competition. Finished sixth, sixth place. Finished ahead of some really good teams. Doesn't mean I'm better than them. It just means I was better than them on that weekend. And uh, had a really good cook that weekend. There's, Got two calls, got a call in brisket, which means a top 10. We got ninth in ribs and ninth in brisket. 
and then we were uh, 12th in pork and 12th in chicken. So very consistent, had a consistent cook, and it was good enough for sixth place overall. Just outside the top five. Very pleased with that cook. It's probably the best cook I've ever done in a barbecue competition. The American Royal in 2017 got a top 10 finish in pork, finished ninth place, and finished uh, 68th in brisket, which is really good <laughs> out of 550 teams or so, however many were that year. I, I don't know, there may have been 470. I don't know. It was close. It was around 500 teams. A little over, a little under 500. I don't quite remember, but let's, let's get into the point where here we're just but I think we kind of got maybe a little lucky at that one. Sometimes luck plays part barbecue judging. Especially at a competition that big, yes, that's just gonna fall apart. All right. Really need a chef's knife to do this. Which I have one inside, but it's all right. I'll just finish this up. So these ends off, off the flat, this is where I like to chop this stuff up. It's good for chopped beef, chopped beef sandwiches, beef on bun. A good beef on bun sandwich. Look at that. It's like the poor Russ. If you've ever gone to um, uh, what's the barbecue place up by Target? Jackstack? Yeah, Jackstack. If you ever gone to Jackstack, they make a sandwich called the Poor Russ. That's basically what this is. It's just chopped beef. I think there might be some pork in there too. And it is absolutely fantastic. Matter of fact, there's so much beef on it that they, it just it comes off the bun. And you can almost eat what's not on the bun for a meal and save what's on the bun for another meal. I've done that before because it's so big. All right, and that is how you slice a brisket. Now we're just gonna do a little taste test, okay? Fantastic. video will be uh, cool pork. Thanks for watching.